Hi everyone, this is Five from Sparkling Faces, and today I have a review and a little announcement for you. First, I, um, well I guess I should start from the beginning. Um, Chris and I actually talk online a lot. Um, we uh, live video each other and, you know, just practice, discuss things, things we like, whatever. So we were discussing the Wonder Palette and basically neither one of us likes it at all. Once again, I've had this a little bit over a year and a half and as you can see, I mean, it is almost brand new. I don't know if you can see how much paint is in there, but not very much has been used out of it at all. And there's a few reasons. Um, first, the um, paints are really soft. Um, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it without you having the paint in front of you and testing it out. But the paint is so soft that when you're brushing it off, putting your paintbrush in it, it starts to clump or it'll get super squishy and watery and muddy. So that's one of the reasons why we don't like it. And then also, um, you have no idea what kind of paints these are. Um, I haven't tried emailing them or asking them, but I read online somewhere that even if you did, they don't tell you. Um, the colors don't really stain, they're just soft. They have a light smell to them, nothing offensive. Um, but I also think that the size of the containers, um, it's not very useful and then if you do use a certain color a lot like you can kind of see I use the most of the orange and yellow because I was trying to use as much of this palette as I could so I could get rid of it um, so I started doing like cheek art tigers and trying to use this for the full tiger uh, I just did, still didn't really like the consistency so that's why it's not gone the one thing I do like about this is that you do have the full range of the rainbow. So you have, you know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then you have extra pink and then uh, variations of the blue and variations of the purple and green. One of the other things that I do not like about this palette is that the colors are just basic colors. They're not that vibrant. There's nothing special about them. They're just standard colors. And I I know they've made another palette, I think, for Christmas with some metallic colors in it, I think. I didn't get it, so I'm not 100% sure, you know, what colors come in that palette. But, okay. So for a little side note, I do want to say that I do shop at Silly Farm and that I love, love their huge split cake. I actually just got two in the mail. Okay, and this is the Firefly Rainbow one. And then this is the Gumdrop Rainbow one. And I actually like this one so much. I bought one for Kristen and I sent it to her. And she thinks it's really pretty as well. And the reason why these are much better to get and invest your money in rather than this whole set is because when you do a split you can get more than one color and you can get variations of three different colors so let's say out of this cake alone I can do yellow and green I can do green and pink or pink and purple I think that's purple yes or pink and purple or I can use a one inch flat brush and grab all three colors so let me show you what I'm talking about. So with a one inch flat, if I place it right here, I'll have the main color as pink, and then I'll also get a little bit of this pretty green teal color and some of the purple on my brush. And actually some of the cakes have thinner stripes, so that even adds more to the versatility in my opinion. So you can see with my one inch, if I put it on the pink, I'll get some purple and some green, okay? And then if I put it down here, I'm getting red, pink, orange, and yellow, okay? So it just depends on the cake, and you can go online and check out these cakes. They're awesome. They look really good for a lot of different masks and eye designs and butterflies. Um, that's actually what my favorite thing to use it for is since I do so many butterflies it's nice to have different variations of butterflies 
Anyways, um, I did want to say that because I don't want to just like sit here and badmouth them um, on this one product. <laughs> so I did want to add that I do like a lot of their other products. Um, however, this was a complete miss for me. So if you have this palette and you like it, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would love to know what you use it for and why you like it. Um, one of the things that Kristen and I did talk about, I'm a pretty positive person and I feel like when somebody complains, don't just complain, you need to find a solution, okay? So one of the things that I had said to Kristen is, well, you know what? I challenge you to use the Wonder Palette. I challenge you to come up with a design for each of the split cakes in the palette. Okay, and that'll do two things. One, make you practice your designs, and two, make you use the split cake palette. It'll also give you the opportunity so that when next time somebody says, hey, you know, um, can you do a butterfly mask on me? You're like, yeah, you know what? Let me grab my Wonder Palette because I've already practiced a design with this. The reason why we're making this video is not to badmouth anybody, but basically to say, you know, hey, I know a lot of face painters would love to have, you know, all their splits split cakes all in one place. So I'm sure a lot of face painters did invest their money in this Wonder Palette and I'm not sure about you guys, but you know, we haven't used it, so I don't know if you've used it or not. And like I said, if you have and you love it, let me know below. But if you didn't love it and you haven't used your palette very much, then what we decided to do is to start a series. And I think it will give us an opportunity to use the paints and also to give you guys ideas on what you can do with the Wonder Palette or with the Split Cake in general so that, you know, you can practice your designs as well. And I'm going to tell you right now, we've been practicing for, I want to say like two or three hours and she's came up with some designs that are pretty awesome. Um, I will put a link to her website. I'm sorry, I'll put a link to her YouTube account below and um, feel free to subscribe to her as well. And actually she's just a little bit uncomfortable in front of the camera so I would love it if you spammed her with encouraging comments because um, she loves comments. She doesn't act like she does. She doesn't act like she likes comments but she loves it. It makes her head big. <laughs> Anyways, and I can only bully her so much into doing videos, so a little um, encouragement from you guys would probably help a lot. Um, so yeah, so the new series is going to be, we're going to come up with a design for each one of the splits, and stay tuned because it's going to be an adventure. But I'm going to come up with a design and she's going to come up with a design for the same split. So for each of these split cake colors, you're going to get two designs. One for me and one from her. So, like I said, make sure you subscribe to her channel so you can see her designs as well. Because I'm going to tell you right now, some of them are pretty cool. But, anyways, I will talk to you guys later. And um, I am still going to be doing my... Uh, basic basics series. I'm just going to interrupt it a little bit for this series. Oh, I hit myself in the face. Um, I'm going to interrupt it a little bit for the series because she just started making videos and she wasn't quite sure what kind of um, designs she wanted to do. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to do a project together and for her to come up with ideas for some videos and um, have it be a little bit challenging as well. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, my brain hurts. Ugh.